Too many people have asked me these three questions. How do I transfer from one database to another? How do I back up my data so that I can retrieve it later? And how do I archive data that I no longer need on a daily basis? Let's answer these questions one by one. How do I transfer data from one database to another? Databases never remain the same. You add a field, change the formulae. Add a tag, add records, delete columns, or something else. You're always tinkering around with your data. Let's have a look at a simple example. I've created a dummy database to illustrate the point. So you have a task database that you use regularly. Let's say it has name, which is the default column, tags, a date column, a checkbox column, a formula column, a timestamp, a file attachment column, a text column. Now I have created a transfer database and intentionally changed the formula. I added another attachment column and changed the text column to another property. Now let's select all the rows in the task database like this. Once I've selected all these rows that I want to move, I drag them into the transfer database. Let's see what happens. If you look at what just happened, new fields got appended to the transfer database. So you got pink and test one that got added and the information residing in the task database just got transferred as well. The formula for the transfer database got adapted by the records of the task database since that was the formula that was prevalent in the formula column. The timestamps are system generated and they got transferred in the same way as if they were native to the record. Just note that you can't manually generate timestamps later on that matches the original system timestamps. As a good practice, you should keep the field names the same for the data that you want to transfer. That way, it really becomes very easy. How do I back up my data so that I can retrieve it later? At least once in your lifetime, you run the risk of your data vanishing and that should increase with time. If you've been affected by it, you will want to know this one. Let's look at what Notion already has. If you click on the three dots on the upper right side of the Notion page, you will see something called page history. Click on it and you will see this pop up with a button, restore this version. You can now choose the version you would like to go back to and have that restored on the page. As you can see, Notion has some form of backup to keep data in their cloud server. For those who are a little more paranoid, I would suggest to keep another workspace called backup. Let's assume you want to create a backup of this transfer database in the backup workspace. To do this, you duplicate the transfer database. Then you move it to the side column so that it's clean, since you may have multiple databases on the same page and you may want to transfer only a specific database. Then you move the database like this. This is created as a separate page, but then you can move it to the right page by just dragging it. So that's the second way of doing it. Let's say you want to keep an offline database from here. That's where the next option comes in handy. What you're going to do is to create a CSV, an HTML or a PDF output. The foolproof way to do this is when the database or page is completely separate. You can then back up as a CSV, a PDF or an HTML, just like this. A zip file is created. If it's a PDF or a CSV, it will open directly inside of the app. So it's Excel or numbers in the case of a CSV and a PDF reading tool in case it's a PDF. HTML is a web page. And I don't really use this option much. How do I archive data that is no longer needed on a daily basis? The start point to archive is when you mark off a record in the database that you no longer need. This is best done with an archive column, which is a checkbox. Now you have two options. If your database is not too large, you can just filter this. That way it hides the archive records and you get everything else besides archive. In case you want to do a permanent removal from the existing database, 
You just create the skeleton of an identical database. You filter out the archive records and then transfer the records to the archive database. You may consider creating an archive view so that it is set automatically and you could use it time and time again. If you are looking for templates that will significantly accelerate your Notion journey, just look in the description below or on this page. If you are not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace.